We came to Florida after the hurricane because okay. the Hurricane Maria like kind of like messed everything up in the island and it was kind of tough. And my kid at the time was a year and a half old and my oh, daughter was too like young. six and something. So they were like super young. And we were like two months without like water, like electricity, nothing. So at the time I thought about it and I always wanted to go back to the States because we actually got married and we left. Because it's a funny thing. I wasn't supposed to get married. I wasn't going to get married. Like, I was going to get married in December and, like, three months before I was without a job. I worked in construction before, like, cutting hair or anything. I always cut hair since I was, like, in high school. But I didn't, like, professionally cut hair. So I was I liked that as a hobby. It was something that I liked doing. So I charged like five dollars here and there to cut somebody. I didn't care. So I was getting paid somewhere else. But um, when I got when I lost my job, I sent down my wife and and her mother. I'm like, yo, you're like, I can't get married. She's like, what you mean? You're like three months away from the wedding, you can't call the wedding out like that. I'm like, what am I supposed to do if we're gonna get married? I don't have a job. I mean, I have a house, but how am I gonna like? If I'm going to take her out of this house to give her less than what she has here, it makes no point for no us. Like, sense. She wasn't pregnant or anything. We wasn't like, we would just, she was like one of those girls that are like always home and stuff. So it's like, it was more like we want to get married so like that we could go out and not worry about like going home at 1030 because your mom had to go to bed type of thing. It wasn't like, so I'm like, if we're going to get married just for that. And you're going to be over here, like, not having everything that you have here. It defeats the purpose of getting married right now. We yes. could just wait. And then my mother-in-law, she was like, no, well, why don't you guys just go to New Jersey? Because your mom is over there. And then you guys just try it out. And we got married in December. February, we went to New Jersey. We lasted, like, eight months and went back to Puerto Rico. Came back. Oh, straight to Puerto Rico? The construction time, when you were working on construction and you lost your job. That was that. That was where? In Puerto Rico. Puerto, but one thing, one good thing you took out of the construction, because I saw you building your studio. Yeah. And you did the whole construction by yourself. Yeah. yeah I, I learned a lot when my grandfather was, he always worked in construction. So when, ever since, like, he raised me since I was, like, three to, like, seven or eight. Um, So I would see him, like, building stuff, houses and stuff like that. And he was one of those, like, grandfathers is like if he's up at five o'clock in the morning you have to be up like you have to find something to do like clean the yard do something but you can't be sleeping while he's working so we always have to like either help him out or find something to do or he'll put us to do something so i was always familiar with the construction thing so that's why when i didn't have a job that's i did that for a while for like three years and then I was cutting hair and th here and there, but I was like, if I needed money, I would go back to construction and work somewhere and build something. And when I came over here, when I started building my studio, I was like, wait a minute, like, I mean, I don't know nobody that does construction here in Miami, and I bet it's like super expensive. So like, I'd rather do the work myself and just pay for like all the materials and all that stuff, and I could save money instead of just paying somebody else that I don't know. If it's gonna do a good job, Every, everything now, all the materials and uh, labor is very expensive to hire someone. Yeah. But the question is, do you do you worked in Puerto Rico as a barber professionally at yes. a shop? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. After after we got married, we went to New Jersey. I worked in a barber shop because I was gonna get like a normal job, and my mom was like, "Don't you cut hair?" I was like, "Yeah, but I, I haven't gone to school. I don't have a license. I don't like to me. If I would have known, like." If I would have known I could have worked in a shop without a license in Puerto Rico, I would never would have been in the construction. I probably would have been in the shop. But to me, I always seen the barber industry as like a real profession. So I was like, nah, for me to work in a barber shop, I have to go to school, get a license, and then go to the shop. So to me, it was never an option because I never went to school. And then once you've been doing it for so long, it's like, why would I want to go to school to learn the stuff that I already do every day? So I was like, I don't want to go to school, so I won't be a, like a professional barber. I just cut at my house or go here and there, make some extra money cause just because I liked it. But if I would have known, I could have started. I mean, I have my license now and everything, but 
at the beginning, I was like, I knew a bunch of barbers. I didn't even know you could do that, but I know a bunch of barbers after that that they've been cutting hair for like 10 years and never went to school. And I was like, oh, like. I don't know how they do, but it was, uh, I noticed there were many, because I, I travel a little, and some states I noticed there's a lot of uh, without license. Mm -hmm. the, does Puerto Rico require license to work? Yeah, Puerto Rico requires it. The thing with Puerto Rico, I don't know now, but back then there wasn't that strict with the, like they won't you won't have an like here you won't have an inspector showing up to your shop like random and like check the papers. So it kind of like serves so people could like work without a license because nobody would come show up and the owner will have a license and he'll put up the shop and everything and he'll be on the books and they'll be fine but they will never check so that's why like Puerto Rico is different than here there's a lot of like stuff but um here it's different here you have to get a license so you can work it's a constant and, check in and yeah so you have to make sure that 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 you're like legit you know like when I was here, when I started here, I had my Puerto Rico license. It was a pain to like switch it. So at the beginning, I was like, nah, I might, I might don't need it or whatever, because I have my Puerto Rico license. So when the inspector came, it's like, no, you have to switch it, and you have to have to go to Puerto Rico, get a card, like a letter, to certified all the hours, and send it to Tallahassee and all that. 